The people that we have on stage tonight are role models to the next generation. They're role models to ensure that people know they can work in every single area of football because they are welcome to and because they will make football better. Amen. This award and what this night, even if people don't win an award themselves, it gives them confidence, it gives them the belief and everybody wants to be recognised at some stage. Most of the people that attend tonight come in like family, one big family. It's a, a celebration of, a, of achievement in the culture and a lot of hard work that's gone behind it. We're striving to get more black athletes into coaching. I'd like to see more in management as well. People like me lending my time, you know, and they can only try and grow it as well, you know, but we have to keep persevering. I've just been moved, really. It's, it's inspiring. Um, and I'm really pleased to be presenting this board along with Chris. Surreal, really encouraging to be part of it, to be part of a list which kind of looks at young rising talent and in different areas of sports. A lot of my colleagues and my friends are on the list, so it's nice for us as a collective to be recognised in some kind of manner. I mean, there's a lot of people putting in so much work behind the scenes that probably don't get the credit they should. There's a lot of people kind of breaking down doors, breaking down boundaries and being pioneers and kind of pushing the diversity in the football industry, something which is needed. 50% of the football blacklist is women. We need more females as role models within society and we need to break down these barriers in society and award ceremonies like this to do that. Proud of what we're doing, proud of us as a collective. We've got to keep going, we've got to keep pushing and uh, just be proud of ourselves. It's important that we get more varied voices and diverse communities in there as well to create a growth in the game that is, is much needed. An evening when we remind ourselves that there's a lot more still to be done. The need for change, the need for more black talent to be more visible, more active, more present at every level of what the Premier League does. I started a football club four years ago with no money, just fundraising with our buckets and now we're a semi-professional football club so be resilient, be ambitious, be passionate about what you want to do, just work hard at anything's possible. This is the football blacklist. <laughs>